Welcome to the NatFL channel. Throughout this series, I've taken a lot of opportunities to write about some of the top prospects at the receiver position, focusing on Devona Smith, Jamar Chase and Jalen Waddell. There's no doubt that Miami needs some receiver help but could they go with one of the most athletically gifted tight ends in the draft to solve that problem? Could they take Kyle Pitts and wait on a receiver? Kyle Pitts is an incredible athletic phenomenon at tight end. He has sure hands and doesn't drop passes, he has speed unmatched at the position and can make all of the tough catches. All of them, especially those that go for touchdowns. Pitts was injured during the season which lead to a lesser stat line for someone of his talent but this shouldn't affect his draft status as he is one of the better players in the draft. Pitts could line up as a traditional tight end or push out to play more of a receiver position where he could easily thrive given his athletic skill set and his big play ability. He could be a dominant presence no matter where he plays on the field if he hits his ceiling. While Pitts is a great player who could fit the needs Miami's offense has, it may be complicated for the Dolphins to take him in the first round. The best way that Miami could get Pitts on their team would be through a situation involving a trade back. Pitts shouldn't be the third overall pick in the draft. On the other end of the first round, I also don't see him making it to 18 overall, meaning the only way they take him is somewhere around the 10th pick. There is also a situation where Miami may trade down and still be able to take one of the dominant receivers in this draft at their new spot, lowering the chances for Pitts to be taken. One of the other reasons that Miami may not take him is because of one of the only real concerns about his game. Pitts struggles with blocking. On the surface, that's not much of an issue. But, if he can't improve at this, which there is still a chance that he does, he could be a liability in the running game, lowering his snap count a bit. Miami also already has a seam threat tight end in Mike Jasicki who is not the greatest blocking threat at the position in the league. Miami would definitely benefit from having both on the field at the same time, but Pitts would have to play more of a wide-out role, which may not be a bad thing. It would make sense, then, for Miami to take Pitts in the early middle of the first round after a trade with the intention of moving him to receiver full-time. That would give them a legitimate and consistent receiving threat that could take pressure off of Devontae Parker and help Tua Tungavailoa grow.